Welcome back to the Wild Wednesday Threesome. have joined us for their unique take on the issues raging in the House. Ginny Sims is an NDP MP from beautiful British Columbia. Yvonne Jones is a Liberal MP from equally beautiful Labrador. And Aaron O'Toole is an Ontario Conservative. Equally beautiful. Equally beautiful Ontario <laughs> Conservative <laughs> Parliamentary Secretary. Welcome to you all. Thank you. How much consultation, Ginny, really needs to be done on this mission? I mean, we're going to have a debate, uh, but your leader and, and the Liberal leader are both complaining they don't know much about it. How much do you realistically expect? I think there needs to be a real debate in Parliament because Canadians want a debate before we commit. It's coming. Soldiers. Yeah, it's coming. But I think we also have to look at we've got a government that seems to be determined to rush us into a war, even after a debate. But we've got to look at what are the other possibilities, other ways to tackle this uh, horrible atrocities that are happening over in Iraq. And I think history should teach us something. And what it is, is we're dealing with a moving target. We're not dealing with a stationary target. And I'm really, really worried what kind of a lengthy commitment we're going to be making here and what kind of damage is going to be done to civilians as well. Okay, Yvonne, I mean, uh, Justin Trudeau was pretty emphatic. I want more information. I deserve to know it. I need to know it before we can make a, a, a lucid decision on this. I do want to harken back a little bit to history. Uh, Jean Chrétien sent us into Afghanistan by uh, just phoning up the opposition MPs and saying, we are gone to Afghanistan. So why should John, or Stephen Harper have to do anything more? Because Stephen Harper made a commitment to the people of Canada. There's not a constitutional requirement to debate, but he made a commitment when he was in opposition that he would not take Can Canadians to war of any sort without full debate. And that's what we expect. But outside of that, I, I think as well that the Prime Minister has a responsibility to lead at home, and that means taking the leader of the NDP, the leader of the Liberal Party, sitting down with them, talk to them, tell them what it is that you want to bring Canada to. What is our military requirement in this? You know, what is our, our ability to be able to perform that requirement and respond to what is being asked? And I think that for any of us to go into the House of Commons and to have this debate, we need to be fully briefed on it. And that's the only way we're going to do justice to the people of this country in making the right decision on their behalf. Aaron, I, I must say, and I know you're not going to confirm this, but I'm told reliably it was raised extensively in the Conservative caucus, strong show of support for the Prime Minister's position on this. But why should Conservative of MPs be told any more than the rest of the MPs. Mm -hmm. We all have voters. We all have soldiers that might be involved uh, in this uh, conflict. Shouldn't it be out there for everyone at the same time? Uh, absolutely, it will be. There's been no decision <laughs> made, Don. I, I think what my colleagues conveniently omit is from the start, the Prime Minister has proceeded very cautiously here. There's been no rush to action. And in fact, the advisors that were deployed, there was automatically a review period of 30 days mm -hmm. put on to see the international effort organized by President Obama that involves Gulf states, how is the impact after 30 days? Are our advisors yeah. helping? Only a third of them have actually got there. The, and and <laughs> that, 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 was a, that was a limited. So you could see we've approached this very, very strategically to be limited and to make sure that each step was watched carefully. And the Prime Minister has always said that if anything ever comes that would be of a combat nature, that would come to the House uh, for a debate and a vote, as it should be, uh, all members will take part in that debate. But what's been funny has been the evolving politics on this, where at first the NDP said any type of deployment at all should be debated. Yeah. The, the Liberals supported it. Now, some sort of intervention, now they don't. It sounded like Justin Trudeau's questions no, were no, written we, by Tom Mulcair today. We, we it, it's supported okay. the 30 day operations. That's a different from a combat mission. And you've got to understand that. The first request was for 30 days to do training, to give advice. That is what was supported by our party. Right now, what the ask is of the federal government, from what we can understand from Harper's comments in the U.S., because we didn't get much in the House of Commons, is that they want to step this up. If you're talking F-18s, you're talking combat. Either way you look at it, whether it's boots on the ground, as people like to call it, or planes in the air, when you start dropping missile, missiles, you're into a combat position. I thought position. Justin Trudeau it's, supported that, though. I thought that Justin Trudeau supported like the idea of sending in our CF-18s to join the coalition. And Am he flip -flopped. I that? He, flip he did some that, already. and I think this is what it comes down to. We've got flip-flopping on one side, and we've got let's rush and get in there. And you know what? We haven't had that debate, and we don't have the information. And when we look at our role, in whether it's been in Syria or Libya, 
aren't these the same people who we were supporting with weapons and we were on their side as we went into Libya? That is so ironic. So really, <laughs> when you're looking at a moving target, then the target moves, you know. We look at what happened in Afghanistan, look at what happened in Libya, look at what's happened in Syria, and here we are again thinking that just going in, throwing bombs is going to fix that, that, the issue. That is not what is being contemplated. Look, the Prime Minister has taken a well, very I wish calculated we knew what was and being deliberate approach on this, which is we're always going to talk with our allies. How have the original uh, strikes from the U.S. and some of the Gulf states, have they made an impact? Have they cut off the resources for ISIL and their supply lines, that sort of thing? Canada has always, through our history, played a role that's commensurate with our size and ability. So if we're asked by our allies, we should bring to the House a, a question of can we help in a way that's strategic, helpful to our allies and the cause of, of peace and security and is limited in scope and time. That's what will come to the House at some point if the government makes a decision. And is that okay isn't with you, in the House? I mean, well, What are you well, hearing that subject, you're objecting to so far? Well, yeah. today we don't have anything to object to because we don't know what they're proposing. And, you know, every now and then we're getting snippets of something in the media that the Prime Minister is dropping in a press conference here or there. Has anyone actually stood in the House of Commons and said to Canadians, this is what we want to do, this is what we're Might prepared to do, and, and this is what we're, our ability is to conduct this mission? Because mm -hmm. that's the big question as well. You know, the last five years we were in Afghanistan, we were leasing missile defense equipment from other countries in the world. We didn't have our own equipment to be able to do what that, that whole mission turned out to be at the, the end of the, the day. The Liberals sent our and troops to Afghanistan fair, in green this uniforms. Is the we have, we have, that we, we have, have given today. the troops what they need when and they it's need a, it. It's, it's a fear that we, we have, have today. We Last have, quick word. We have a Jenny. government that really wants to rush into this war, is appearing more hawkish than even people to the south of us and around the globe. That's right. And what I'm saying is what we need is to take a deep breath and let's take a look at what will actually work. Let's look at what some of the experts are saying and then let's let's also assess exactly. what our position is going to be and by now we do have people on the ground in iraq and there should already have been a debate and that and debate we is hawkish, long overdue we would be part of the strikes now this has been a deliberate and careful process to listen to our allies see what the need is but these parties clearly don't think canada has a role yeah. in the world and role in international that is security not that is not I, believe, at all. I believe that canada they, they does should have explain a role. their position and our role is one of peacekeeping it's a providing support and tackling the real real mm -hmm. Issues root, root causes, around that's right. uh, issues uh, around terrorism. Ten seconds I, or less. No, I was going to say I I believe we do have a role, but our role can only be determined by the capacity that we have to exercise it, okay. and that means what do we have in equipment, in in aid, in personnel, in funding, all of those things so have to be a factor, not just the government's willingness to rush to the front lines. Okay. At the end of the day, we always have to look at what is our goal. What is our goal when we go into a right. war? And this government has neither put out the criteria what that they're going to use to evaluate if we should go into military intervention, nor have they expressed the goal and what they hope to achieve. And they haven't learned that first you arm a group, and then later on you go to bomb them. And let's take a look at what's the real way to I don't think we've been involved in arming ISIL. What, what we see here is politics of the purest form you know oh, first it was a debate anytime we, at any time we deploy and then the NDP realized we deploy all the time so we've got to change that language now they're calling it the war in Iraq before a decision on what our next move would be we we not only we the, the public were informed of, of advisors yeah. advisors going there is um, a war in Iraq with a 30-day window the Minister of Defense and the Chief of Defense Staff then appeared at an all-party committee. This has been discussed, and the time limit is this weekend of that 30-day review. Okay. Very so simple question. There will be a debate in Very the House and a vote questions. on any combat rule. We could not get answered in the House. It took till today or yesterday to say 26 are actually on okay. the ground. Tomorrow, I think how complicated all will be made clear, be. right, Aaron? Tomorrow's the day? Oh, we'll find out tomorrow. Uh,